I'm going to make Libby Kilmeister's Krakatoa Surprise. First, we're going to start with this big-ass can of refried beans. And I'm going to heat it up just a little bit to make it more pliable when I form it into the volcano shape. This looks so fucking delicious. Lemmy, you sick bastard. If you eat like this all the time, how the hell are you still alive? That's what I'd like to know. That looks so freaking yummy. And I'm just going to heat that up for a few minutes. Like I said, make it more pliable. It has a consistency of Play-Doh mixed with like... Well, I'm not going to say it because that would be really mean. But, yeah. It doesn't look that good. Shit. Okay. Alright. Next step is to um, get everything else right. A lot of flour. And I don't really want to measure anything out. I cook a lot, so I'm just going to eyeball it. I get a shitload of flour. Shitload of chocolate syrup. Get a shot of this. It's like food corn. Look how the chocolate syrup disappears. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. And curry powder. Probably have to... I bought this brand new just for this contest. For a bunch of that in there too. Like a lot. Okay, that's as much as I can stand. And for our other ingredients, we have the strawberry syrup that goes around it to look like lava and the lava bread, which we're going to have to heat up so that it acts correctly. And this is good. Like I said, just heat it up a little bit to make it more pliable. As you can see, a bit of steam is coming up. We're going to go ahead and toss the I'm going to start mixing with a spoon, but I'm just going to use my hands to form the volcano because I think it would be a lot easier. I mean, Krakatoa has a very famous shape. It looks like a very thick phallus and it comes up like this, right? And what better way to create a phallus than with a woman's hand? That's what I'm talking about. So there you go. So let me mix this all up. Try to get it as consistent as possible. That might take a lot of mixing. But get a good firm grip on that spoon and just work it all in. Are you liking the sexual annoying those? Because I sure am. They're a lot of fun. Try to get all the chocolate mixed in so there's no globs of it. I wonder where Lemmy got this recipe. I guess he got it from the only, the finest restaurant in Paris, France, where they are known for their crazy delicacies like cat's brains, snails, Livers of various animals and whatnot. Alright. I think this looks pretty good. I mean, it's not going to be completely consistent because it's a lot of weird ingredients. And to be completely consistent, it would probably need something like a chicken stock to make it less thick. Okay. My hands are clean, I swear. Just going to go in. And form it. Have you ever heard of splashing? Well, splashing is the British born fetish of pouring weird food on yourself. And people love 
that for some reason. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to make it as tall as I can without it falling down. I know not everyone in the contest decided to do such a perfect volcano shape. I'm just saying, and I'm doing it. In the form of Krakatoa. I have flash flashbacks of two girls in cup right now. <laughs> you can't laugh, then. This is a serious cooking show. Nice. I'm going to try to get a little <coughs> cavern right in the middle. You know what? Assistance. <laughs> Put more flour in this for me because I need it to be a little bit thicker. <coughs> this is Allison. Say hi. Hi. Want just, yeah, it? just go for it. <coughs> I'm just going to work it all in, in a good <coughs> One more scoop. Perfect. It's about a half cup, by the way, of each scoop. Half a cup. I'm going to rework all that crap in to this crap. Lots of crap going on here tonight. And that is Soylent Green if you didn't know. I don't know what the hell they're laughing about. Don't ask me. Two girls in cocaine. <laughs> They were probably on cocaine when they did that. <laughs> they were probably more than that. Because who would be in their right fucking mind doing that? Have to ask Brock for the full copy. Oh, how long was it? It's a full length movie. Of what? Just right. the previews that you can see on that site. Well, it's Alright. Now, I'm going to try to get it in the shape. My hands are covered in it. Yeah. It's slightly difficult. <laughs> <laughs> there, that's a little bit better. Slightly thicker consistency. Yummy. Doesn't it look so good? Awesome. Looks like this doggy drops it. <laughs> it looks amazing, Allison, because. Rachel Ray, eat your heart out. <laughs> exactly. You know she's going to be copying this recipe on her next show. Somehow I know it. You didn't know Outfit she Outfit and all. Let <laughs> yeah. me yeah. wash off my hands so that I can dig out the hole better. Holes are very important in phallic symbols because otherwise, what's going to come out of it? Nothing. If I don't have a hole, right? <laughs> That makes sense to me. Alright. Now. Gonna dig out a hole, poke a hole, whichever works better. Thanks, to me. Have to get it deep enough to hold a good bit of burn. See how deep I'm digging it? It takes up at least that much of the spit. Thank you, assistant. Strawberry syrup is the lava coming out. And then take the thing off. Again, I also bought this just for this recipe. I'm not a huge fan of strawberry syrup. Chocolate. Everybody noticed our scientific way of taking the tab off there. Yep. And I had dental work this summer. That's going to be ruined if I beat this. Here we go. Watch. Oh, yummy. Look at that lava flow. And I'm putting it only around the top because you know how lava flows and oozes out. It doesn't like 
just go wherever the hell it wants to or anything like that. Let me warm up the brandy. I'm not using that because that's gross. I find a good saucepan. Thank you. That song sounds familiar. And I bought the Paul Nesson brandy because I had it at my work. She's just going to heat that up on low heat. Low, very low heat because you don't want the alcohol to cook out. You just... What you do with the brandy is you don't like the brandy. It won't ignite. You like the alcohol vapors that come out of it. So what you do by heating it is you release more of the vapors. And when you pour it in, you're just going to want the vapors. Pretty interesting. Kind of like, I have the vapors, vapors, and just do that for a very short amount of time. I think the optimum heat for igniting brandy is 180 degrees, which is slightly more than twice room temperature, which would normally be about 70. Are you good at telling this? You want to come feel out of it? Because the burner was already hot. Is that for a burn? Is that for a it's slightly warm. Let me find the uh, light Sorry. I get there because it's a very short amount of time, very low heat. Where is the lighter? Lighter. Yeah. Then you can light it because that one's too short for me. Nice lighter. Very <laughs> short nice time. Very carefully pour it into this lighter elements. All right, and you can go ahead, Mr. Cameraman, and light that for me. Yay! Crack a toe surprise. Look at it go. Let me turn it back on. No? <laughs> we did it, everybody! Now let me take one bite of it. You know, so I want to get some of the sauce. <laughs> Ready? Careful. That is fucking delicious. The consistency is a bit strange, but not awful tasting. So, hope you pick me.